Today we find out who doesn't pray, worship, or say God bless you when you sneeze. That's right, today we are looking at cities where people don't do the religious thing. Since the dawn of man, we have worshipped fire, water, earth, moon, stars, multiple gods, singular gods, false idols, and women. Yes, it's a thing. But since the dawn of time, there's always been a portion of the population that has been like, so there's a man in the sky that wants me to donate money every Sunday and miss the NFL early games? Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm good. Have fun. I'll text you the scores. Those are the people that are unaffiliated with any form of religion. In today's video, we were looking at the cities in the US where they have the highest percentage of people that say they're not affiliated with any religion. Not saying they're atheists, they just don't get into the whole religious thing. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Cambridge, Massachusetts is a city in the Boston metro area. It is where you will find MIT and Harvard. It is also where you will find extremely talented mathematicians that work the night shift as a janitor at the university. At least that's what I gathered by watching Goodwill Hunting. Cambridge is home to about 120,000 residents, and a lot of them don't really go all in on religion. There was a study back in 2014 by the Religious Research Institute that said 23% of Cambridge residents don't identify with any religion, with different numbers showing that a lot of them are atheists and agnostic. But a study in 2022 said 24% of Cambridge, Massachusetts are not affiliated with any religion. Number nine, Madison, Wisconsin. Madison, Wisconsin is a city in Wisconsin with a population of around 260,000 residents. The entire metro area has a little under 700,000. The city is known for its University of Wisconsin campus, its lakes, and its progressive culture. Madison is also home to a large number of people who identify as atheists or agnostic. What I find strange about this is Wisconsin is a college town, but it's also a family type of town. At least the whole area is. Normally, family type cities, they really get into religion a little bit more than other cities. This one's a little bit of an exception. 25% of Madison, Wisconsin's residents say they're unaffiliated with any form of religion. Number eight, Ann Arbor, Michigan. You know, we have rarely talked about Ann Arbor on this channel. It just never seems to come up, but here they are. Even though Ann Arbor is a pretty big town, at least in popularity, I guess you could say, people know about Ann Arbor, but it really isn't that big. The city itself has a population of about 123,000, with the entire metro area only having about 370,000. I like Ann Arbor. It's been quite a few years since I've been there, but it, it's a really nice city. I like it. The Huron River runs right through it. University of Michigan's there. I saw a guy streaking through the snow one time there. Yeah. And it was cold, a little colder for him. That image is burned into my retinas for the rest of my life. But Ann Arbor is big for its art scene and its liberal culture as well. They have a large collective of atheists and agnostics. And according to the 2022 study, 27% of their population is not affiliated with any kind of religion. And that's actually lower. It was 29 in 2016. So they're moving towards religion instead of away from it. I think it has something to do with not having a national championship in football since 1997. Maybe they're hoping it'll help. Number seven, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Wow, we're all kind of staying up in the same area to start this list off. Well, I guess Cambridge isn't up in that area, but Madison, Ann Arbor, Minneapolis. I guess when it gets that cold, you start to think God doesn't exist or something. Minneapolis is a city in Minnesota with a population of about 425,000 with the entire metro area having a little over 3.6 million. The city is known for its lakes, its parks, and its friendly people. Minneapolis is also home to a large number of people who identify as as atheist or agnostic. Minneapolis, though, as far as population goes, they're on the decline. The people are starting to move out of there. They had been losing population since the 1960 census, and in 2000, they turned it around by gaining almost 4%, broke even in 2010, and in 2020, they gained 12.4%. But I don't know if it's the civil unrest with the whole George Floyd thing, who knows? But in 2021, they lost 1.1% of the population, and the newest numbers show that they lost almost another percentage point in 2022. So we'll see how that pans out by the time the next census comes. 28% of Minneapolis's population is not affiliated with any form of religion. 
Number six, Austin, Texas. Are you guys starting to see a trend here? Liberal cities really don't get into religion that much. Austin right now is filled to the rim with hippies. Hippies, you know, I mean, sometimes they get into like meditation, but yeah, they're not too big into the whole religion thing, at least organized religion. I don't think Rastafarians count. Austin is a city that is filled with young people these days. A lot of music scenes, liberal culture, many colleges and universities. And if you decide to venture north, be prepared to see girls wearing nothing but oversized t-shirts, leggings, and cowboy boots. I don't know where that trend came from, but it's going on there. Austin is the state capital of Texas. It's not Dallas. A lot of people think it is for some reason. They got a population of just under 1 million residents with the entire metro area having about 2.5. This is another city that's moving to towards religion, but they still got a lot of people not affiliated. In 2016, 30% of Austin's population said they were not affiliated with any form of religion. And in 2022, it's down to 28%. That's still a big enough portion to get them on this list at number six. Number five, Denver, Colorado. The Mile High City doesn't have a lot of people that are affiliated with any form of religion. I bet today though that changed. They had a tornado rip through town. Yeah, touched down in the Highland Ranch area. Nobody was injured, but it did some damage. But about the same time up at Red Rocks, they were getting some serious hail and it broke out some windows. The city of Denver has a population of about 713,000 residents with the entire metro area having just under 3 million. And a lot of them don't get into the religious thing. Some of the reasons why Denver is a relatively irreligious city, includes its liberal culture, its large population of young people, and its proximity to the Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains have long been a refuge for people who didn't identify with any religion, and Denver's proximity to the mountains may attract people who share these values. That being said, Denver has a wide variety of religious beliefs, but not everyone's into it. 29% of the Mile High City say they are not affiliated with any type of religion. Number four, Santa Cruz, California. This is another city that I don't think we've ever talked about on this channel. I mean, we've definitely never done any real research on it. I think it has a lot to do with my feelings towards the University of California, Santa Cruz. I have no respect for this university. Their sports mascot is a banana slug. Who allowed that? But Santa Cruz is a beautiful coastal town. They got a population of about 64,000 residents with the entire metro area having about 262,000. And this is a a very liberal town and a lot of the people here don't go the religious route. 34% of Santa Cruz, California's population say they are not affiliated with any form of religion. Number three, Seattle, Washington. Surprise, surprise, Seattle shows up as a non-religious type place. You ever been to Seattle? If you have, this one really shouldn't be much of a surprise. That's just something about the Pacific Northwest. They really don't get into religion as much as let's say the South or even New England. But Seattle, they just don't have much time for religion it seems. They're too busy drinking that Starbucks reserve. Side note, if you ever go visit Seattle and the original Starbucks is right there by Pike Place Market, there's a line outside the place. It's nothing special. It's not even that nice of a Starbucks. Skip the line, walk three blocks away and get a coffee there. The city of Seattle has a population of about 750,000 with the entire metro area having just a little over 4 million. Not a lot of people are affiliated with religion in Seattle and since 2016 it's changed. 2016, 33% of Seattle residents claim not to be affiliated with any religion. In 2022, 39% say they are not affiliated affiliated with any religion. Number two, San Francisco. This again should be no surprise. California has a long history with religion. They had missions all the way up and down the coast, but it's not that much of a thing anymore. San Francisco is another city with a reputation for being liberal and secular. San Francisco in 2022 actually lost 7.5% of their population. Last time they lost population like that was the 1980s. Currently, they have about 808,000 residents with the entire metro area having about 4.6 and not many of them are into religion. A lot of agnostic and atheist in this city. In 2016, 33% of San Francisco's residents said they were not affiliated with any form of religion. In 2022, it got up to 40%.
All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. We do videos on that channel about things that have happened in the past on that date. We'd really appreciate it if you went over there and watched some videos and maybe subscribe. All right, on to number one. And number one, Portland, Oregon. Surprise, surprise. One of the most liberal cities we have. It's got a progressive culture, and this helps contribute to their low level of religious affiliation. City's also home to a whole bunch of young people. This is one of the youngest cities we have in the nation. Younger people tend not to be into religion like older people did, which, you know, it's not supposed to, but it's kind of fallen out of fashion. I know I'm going to get some heat for that in the comment section. It's really just not as popular as it used to be. And I know people are going to say, well, that's probably why the world sucks so bad right now. The world has always sucked, according to someone. We got all kinds of problems, but we also were afraid of nuclear war in the 80s and in the 50s. There's always something there to keep us scared and think the world sucks. The city of Portland, Oregon has a population of about 652,000, with the entire metro area being about 2.5 million. And they got a strip club on every corner, so it should be no surprise that 42% of Portland's population say they are not affiliated with any form of religion. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, be nice to each other.